Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Hartwood Turning in the stable studio. I'm missing an earworm. That's why we're a bit late. It's his fault. So let's go over here. And we'll see who we've got currently. And if the other one appears, we'll see. <laughs> We'll say hello. Here we go. We've got the lovely Joe. Good evening. We've got Steve from SK Craft. Good evening. And we've got, and we uh, got the lovely Terry. And we've, we've got the other lovely Terry who just woke up, I have to say. If anybody reads the top of the chat, you'll see that he's... Uh, the bitch. He's been asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and she never woke me up. Oh, hold on. Here, here, here he comes, here he comes. But I'm not the last in. So you, you weren't last, you weren't asleep, but... Uh, I think, uh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. I thought we were on at eight o'clock. I bet. <laughs> yep, I thought you were on at eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah, seven, always seven o'clock on a Thursday. Yeah. People keep changing us. their times, don't they? Eh? And he well, tells us. <laughs> there are 168 the comments. <laughs> there are 168 comments in, uh, <laughs> in the chat already. Sorry, 172, yeah. 76. I don't know what's yeah. happening there. I must have thought I was late or something. Anyway, let's, uh, we're going to do a bit of texturing. This is Susie's fault, by the way. In the this, this, uh, what I'm saying. this is Susie's fault. So uh, let me uh, just put these guys in the background. I'll show you the piece of wood. There we go. Oh, that's not it. I need to go there. It's too big for that bit. So there's the piece of wood. It's a piece of sycamore. It's slightly spotted, but I don't care. It's getting coloured anyway. It's 11 inches across and about two and three quarter inches deep. I've cheated a little bit, guys, because there's a lot of texturing to get done this evening. I've already got the mortars in. That's going to be the size of the foot. And I'm just going to make a real simple, um, straightforward bowl. Try not to make an OG. You want to make the, the bowl disappear into the foot, if you like. But I've done a recess. So let me do it. The first thing I'm going to do is get it back to round. Just set that up. And I think Terry's going to read out who's in the chat this evening. Yeah, and then you keep me away, kind of. I'll just, oh, good evening, uh, I'll everybody. Just, Welcome. Oh, I'll just stick my face shield on. I'm Welcome to Brian's Live. A little bit late. But, yeah, I'm always late. Here now. It's my prerogative. Oh, first name is Grandma Roof. She with very rude comments about me. Then Wayne the Wood Turner. Joel Senior was also in the chat as well as an earworm. Dara Coolin is in. Michelle Oosby is in. Richard Phelan is in. I don't know. William Kenny is in. Oh, they're flying in now. Look. There we go. Then I eventually got here, but I never came into the chat because I was drifting away. Rob from Kingsport Braves is in. Uh, Susie the Swiss Turner is in. And as we go down, we see Fred Gilliver saying good evening to everybody. Closely followed by Dave B. Misc. Is that miscellaneous? AB miscellaneous? Let me call it that. Okay. And we go on down. They're all chatting and saying to, hello to Gary Glass. Because he's just joined us. And then we go down further. And Bruce saying a lot. Paul Hyden, the Grisby Turner, is also in the chat. Followed by Callum Turn. It's a lot of Turn. Callum Turn. No, he's... Tony Smith is in. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And uh, my chat has just jumped 90 feet. So now I quickly scroll back up to see Brian Green, Scott Lulick Turner, Eric Winkler. Just scrolling back up. So I think that's that bit so far. Let's get a bit further down now. Andy Woodwork Lerner is also in. And nobody else is jumping out. Kev at K9 Creations has joined us. Woodworm Paul has joined us. Zongo in this chat keeps flying around. Andy from AJ King Woodwork has joined us. Jennifer from Jennifer Craston Creations also here. Good evening to you. Ward Wilson. Lots of them coming in there. And nearly there, people. Um, 
I think we're turning by Barry is also in. I could just read, actually, I'll read the usual list. I'm going to create a list of usuals. William Kenny is in. I've also said William, I think. Yeah. And that's about it from me so far. If I missed anybody, I do apologize. Give me a blast in the chat. Didn't you just say you were going to create a list of usual suspects there? Yeah, and then just read them out. And if they're not in, ask them why not. Yeah, you so know. where are you? Where have you been? <laughs> you should be here if you missed the delay, yeah. So I'm just quickly roughing this out with a half inch bull gauge from Robert Sorby. Just to get some rough shape in it. I like the way Dave B's put Dave B missed with a full stop after us. And I said, is it miscellaneous? And he said, yes, Terry, it's miscellaneous. Didn't know how to spell miscellaneous, but he spelled it telling me it's miscellaneous. And it's correct. That, that's because he looked up in Google in the meantime. Yeah. Rob yeah. Copperow, we're turning his also in. Hello, Rob. Good evening. Just changed a 3 years ball game, so I just want to make that foot a little bit. Just had a blast from Jennifer. For being, I'll tell Joe for being slow. Don't worry, Jennifer. I'm not going to sing. Thank God for that. <laughs> a little voice pipes up in the back from the background. Thank God for that. That little voice yeah. wasn't there. Wasn't Glenn, was it? Stephanie. No, it was Steve. Oh, Steve. Evening, Pete. Good evening, guys. Good evening, sir. Sorry, I'm late in. Good evening, Pete. You're all right, mate. Right, mate. Uh, I thought it was 8 o'clock as well. Ruth pretended I was asleep. <laughs> no, Ruth didn't pretend you were asleep, Terry. You were asleep. Now, because I'm going to text her this, that's actually not bad. I'll do a finishing cut in that in a minute. Right, it probably doesn't need a finishing cut. I'm going to turn this round and go on the back of it. Because I want to leave a little raised rim just here. Let me go to that camera. Terry Bart has joined us. And Mike Stratton is here. Yeah. Hello, Terry. Hello, Mick. So I want to leave a little raised limb, rim, limb? rim about there somewhere. Because I'm going to text it all the way through it. That's the plan. So I'm going to use my 10 mil bow gauge. And I'm going to text hey. it from here. Hooray. Dara spotted it. New smart right. with his new logo. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Susie, I think Susie said first. Oh, did she? Right. Yeah. Just... Did Susie spot it? That's, that's yeah, it. straight away. Sure. Susie spotted it straight away. There, there you go. go. Look at that. Right, there's, eh? a new, there's a new smart. Look. Ta -da. The man from CNA. The man from CNA. Oh, CNA. That's <laughs> a long time my logo. Ago. I've been gone from the 70s, haven't I? <laughs> so now what I need is a little bit of a parting tool. And I'm just going to use this to part to make a little groove in here. Bring the control box to this side now. Andrew from A AGK said, I'm sat here with my new granddaughter starting her early on wood turning. <laughs> oh, well done, Andy. Do it. Do Get her out in the workshop next week. So just taking that down about six mil there. And the reason I want to do that is because I want the texture to come all the way to the top and I want the raggedy edge at the top. I know you said it was sycamore. How how big is the actual uh, piece of wood? How wide? 11 inches by two and a half. 11. Right. Now that I'm finished roughing it, I'll take that uh, face shield off. Robert and bolt I'll put my choice. safety goggles on. Evening, Robert. It's ordinary safety goggles now. And yeah, we'll do one little one little push cut out around us to see can we get it a decent shape. So rather than try and go all the way in here, I'll just do a little shear cut just there. Just nice, just get that foot to the right size. We have a question from Kev at K9. Those powered masks, I've been toying with one red you have to flatten the battery as soon as you get a memory. True or false? False. Uh, false? No, false, because most of them are nickel, not nickel cadmium anymore, they're lithium. Nickel cadmium batteries developed a memory. Um, but all the all these now are lithium and they just run for forever. There's mine. 
not sure go to that. Well, camera. they do. Yeah, what well, what that mask. There's what my... that mask asks when you get it in their instructions, I believe, is when you get it, put it on full charge for 16 hours, even though it'll show a green light. That's correct. Just the first time. Just leave it on and charge. after that, it, it were. <coughs> it doesn't hurt it to leave it on charge anyway, because it has an automatic shut off thing. Mm. I leave mine plugged in all the time. Yep, you can do. My yeah. mask is almost yeah. as old as Brian, and the battery's still good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's I got a memory on it, is it? I think you remember that far back, Pete? <laughs> yeah, I think as long as you let them run flat every now and again, they're fine. Can't Same do that. to do with normal power tools and all that. Yeah, well, your lithium battery it, it'll it'll run till it dies anyway, because there's no real lag drop off in power. It just goes from being on to off. Yeah. So you kind of know when it's flat. That was a terrible cut. It's still a terrible cut. It's a bit better. It was terrible because I had my hand too high and I couldn't control the tool properly. Why have I suddenly got a bounce there? Push down on the tool, on the tool post. Benjamin's in. Let's try that again. Good evening, Let's try Ben. A different ball dish. He has much. Okay, we'll say about powered masks is if you get the opportunity, go and try them all on because the hats are different shapes and they fit different heads. Yep. Mm -hmm. And different weights. Some of them are very yeah, heavy. Some are light. You know. yeah. yeah. That GSP per per how do I use yeah, is really light. well balanced. I have to say. Really light. It may not fit somebody with a big head. Mine's out, you've got a battery in your pocket rather than the helmet itself. Yeah, I used to. Was that the trend one or Trent one? Trend one. Can I get that? Um, yeah. Yeah, I used to have the trend one with the battery in your pocket when you, know, when you, you just hang on the belt. That's it. Thinking great thing, it was heavy. It failed after yeah. about 15 years. Yeah, mine's still going. When I well, the battery's failed. Out, I couldn't know. get new ones. I kept the mask, but I'll throw the mask away now. But I couldn't get a new battery for it. So that first cut didn't go too well because I was out of position when I was trying to cut it. Didn't get my feet sorted before I cut it, but it's fine now. So we'll go quickly sand that up to 400 grit. What are we colouring this? Um, we're going to colour it um, with Joe Sonia paints. And some ebonizing lacquer and some juice on your paints and maybe some starter paints. We'll see how oh. it goes. Going the whole hog. But Susie had said that she hadn't seen it at the outside of a whole texture. So that gearbox doesn't like this. That's that new drill of yours, isn't it? It's a new drill, yeah. <clears throat> Try a bit lower down, Brian. That sometimes helps. From our roof tube says colour it red for Christmas. Red? Light red. Uh, no, I think there's enough red in here. Well. Wow. Kevin K9 says it's why he uses, currently Oops. use a chainsaw head shield with ear defenders. You'd put an actual mask on as well then, Kev, or? Use the shield with the drop down grid advisor. There we go. You need a mask on, wouldn't you? Oh, look at that. Make sure there's no tool marks. Oh, and sorry, Michelle. Uh, didn't, didn't he tell you you got a new <laughs> new drill? Uh, that's, you know, 1299. Uh, I know Lino's in from Leo. Tell you the Leo is in. Bonsoir, Lionel. Susie says, it's a new, it's a new black drill, with sure. gold juice on you. Uh, well, <coughs> Susie's ball, so. And gold leaf. You didn't say that, but I know how much you love it, so I chucked it in. Yeah, I chucked it in anyway. Gold leaf. 
Bait. <laughs> so, are you drinking Doombar this evening, Mr. Ravenscroft? I am I definitely drinking well, Doombar this striker. So, you've got a bit of catching up to do then? Well, I'm practicing. Got a weekend party. Oh, okay. oh you're out this weekend. Yep. That's okay. Party starts at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Finishes Ooh. Sunday. Wow. Could I just ask everybody in the chat to give a round of applause to Mr. Pete for reaching 1,000 subscribers? Yeah, well done, Pete. Well deserved. Yeah, well done, Pete. I put a plea out on eyes and DIYs. And of my friends. Well, I'm not liking this at all. 22 new subscribers. 22. Yeah, yeah, you must have twisted rough. some arms for that, Pete. You've got to ask them why they weren't in there already. I am. Yeah, that's the other thing. Are, they sure, are you sure they're your friends? Well, <laughs> well they are now. We'll we probably meet him the weekend. Robin's buys and DIYs. We did this, I just know, yeah. We'll say hello again, Robin. One more, Hi, Robin. Yeah, I will take my potential income from YouTube, and um, next year it will work out. If I get the same viewing figures as this year, I'll get just under 25 quid. Yeah. Well Ooh, are you careful? We're going to wait for cash. <laughs> 10 pounds to be tax. That'll be the end of it. You're going to be a wash for cash, Pete. Jennifer Crafting Creations needs three subs to get 500. Oh, some, I can't do it here. Could somebody find Jennifer's thing and put it in? Steve, can you do that? Yeah, I'll find Pete. it. I'll stick Jennifer's link in. See, can we get her moved up a bit? Three subs to 500. Steve's been so quiet, I almost forgot he was here. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Right. That'll be, that'll be fine. So we'll give that a look. No, we're not signed to seal it yet. We'll do the text one first. Barry well, what I want in. to do is Barry. get my pencil. That's nice spalting, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not mad about the spalting. <laughs> so I'm just making Jennifer's sure that's link. on center. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put some lines on this now. Just as a guide. So the link I put in is Jennifer's going. Crafting Creations, so if you're not subscribed, mm -hmm. go and subscribe there. Thanks, Pete. Let's try and get her to 500. Yes, get her to 500 a day. Come on, there's got to be two of you that not subscribed. Shall I nip over and subscribe? 499 at the minute. There we go. Any second now. Lovely. Looks, looks like you're doing some some lines. 500 so subs. Just, there you go, I'm Jennifer. just doing the lines on it so Jennifer. they can try and keep this in the, the right sort of plane. All right. So this is a prox yeah. on long neck grinder with the, with the blade that comes with it. It's like a little chainsaw blade, if you like. Arbitec. And that one well, is, 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 is Arbitec. Do you prefer the angle drill to a regular drill? Uh, no, I didn't like it. Just before you um, start that up. Yes, mate. Just move the shield around a little bit, make it easier for yourself. Roy's the boys in. Hello, Roy. Hi, Roy. Switch it off make at the sure main. Switch it off. Yeah. I did switch James it off. James Croft has joined us. Good evening, James. James. Good evening, James. Let me see. Is this the right size of? Uh, Terry Barton is sub to Jennifer, so that should be a five hundred. Good evening, Roy. Michelle says another tool. You would think it's Christmas. Okay, so how do you move, Michelle? Michelle? I only go one way. Oh, right. So I want it all the way around there. I'm I presuming can use there's there. different blades for this um, Proxxon. You might, why do you, why don't you spin oh, it you don't want around? There, you want it the other way. You want it around the other way? <coughs> no, you want it more towards you. No, I use that as a depth gauge. No, 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 no. No, that way. No, I don't stock. like that. I won't leave it there. <laughs> I played with it yesterday and it works okay. 
Jennifer has got 502 subscribers now, so well done, Jennifer. There we go. Jennifer, Ray. So Jennifer just needs 98 to get 98 to get 600 now, then. Oh, shit. I just broke that, I think. I think I need five. I'll need about 20 to get to 600. Let's go. Whatever. Let's start. Nick Cass is in. Let's go bring us in here. Hi, Nick. I'm not going to mess about with it, I'm just going to get stuck in. And I'm actually quite happy about it coming over the edge. What about going through the bow when you take it out? Are you happy with that? Most probably because I'm using a set of corded headphones, Kev. And they're not a very good set. <laughs> it's quite noisy. I can just about hear you guys. But... Oh, well, we're talking that's about you, right. right, so. That's all right. Jab's keeping it down for us, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, we don't hear the noise. <laughs> Mick Strand's just commenting on, you can see the lovely wood blanks. That Brian bought for you, Michelle. Lovely. <laughs> Certainly cutting it, that blade, isn't it? It's very it's aggressive, it. that blade is. I like that, yeah, it's really good. I'm presuming you get a set of blades with it. No, you don't. It's that one. The only thing oh, you right. get with it is you get a couple of little um, sand and flat discs. Sand everything, else, disc, yeah. everything else you have to buy separate. Oh, that would be right. Those are um, those blades are about fifty quid for a pair, I think. Is it crumbs? That's quite well, impressive that to tool, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, the blades are quite expensive for them, but they're well worth the money, I think. I'm hoping Ruth's going to say she wants me to do something like that, and, and I'll have to buy one. Do the job, don't they? Certainly. I think it'd be too dangerous for me to handle one of those. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't have to run quicker than you. Oh, heck. I'm not good with sharp things. That'd be fine, Joe. Yeah, that'd be plenty of time, Joe. The good thing is, Joe, you, 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 you've got nine or ten fingers, so one of, if you miss one or two, it don't really matter. You can still get on with them. I've got nine or ten fingers. Yeah, well, if you that's... end up severing your wrist, you can always strap the thing, you know, tape it to your, your arm. You can still wear it. Oh, Switch it on with the other hand. No, I just well, want to be a little random back to cut toenail. They use something like an hospital, don't they? They cut plasters off with. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah, but they're good. They're good at it. I'm not well, that no, it amazes me, actually. They never, they, if, the, if Apparently, if the tool goes through the plaster, it touches your arm it doesn't cut yeah well, that's why they, they, put, they put cotton wool on first don't they so it stops the blade well it's not a spinning blade it's a vibrating blade yeah so when it touches the skin it just vibrates the skin without cutting through it oh, right. so Rob from Kingsport says uh, can the blades be resharpened or are they used I think, gone, yep. I'm going to say they're not they're not carbide bits they're not carbide blades or tungsten blades so yeah they could be sharpened oh well, I thought they had tips on them right they should do something stupid with them. They never get, well, very rarely get blood anyway. Yeah. Unless you a nail or something that you've left in there. Yeah. The or your finger. Or your finger, yeah. Uh, a question for you there, Terry, from Ben. Oh, sorry. I wasn't looking at the chat then. I was watching Brian. Okay. Um, I can say, what <laughs> piercing tool did you buy, Terry? Um, good point, Ben. Um. Right, it was the uh, wood art, and it was the fifty thousand revolutions one. I can't remember the name of it, and it's out in the workshop. Sorry, but I will get it, and I will let you know. I'll so, be there. I've got one of those. So Zed's joined us, or Zombie Woodturner, and, and Mark Gentleman Woodturner has joined us. Hi, 
Matt. Hello, Evening. everybody. I haven't said hello to everybody yet. Welcome along, everybody. Jed said, aha, I found the rogues of the internet. <laughs> Hanging out with Brian, that bad influence. Yeah, <laughs> you got it, Zed. We're even thinking of putting his blue spanner out, even though he owns it. <sighs> Zed does love the texture. Brian, he's loving it. What? Zed says he loves the texture. Good man, Zed. Let's have a look at that. Not nope, never a bit. Must have bit. Not that much. It's kind of supposed to be sort of um, way around them. David J. Heathson. Good evening, David. Right. The thing about mm. these is, is it's not a no-load switch, so you got to make sure you switch it off before you switch it off at the mains. Because if you don't switch it off, and you just switch it off at the mains, it'll start when you plug it in again. So make sure you switch it off. Now, just to get rid of some of them fuzzies in there and make it look a little bit more presentable, not the marks, I'm just going to use this brass brush and just give it a good brush. Oh, Hoyton's asking, is Brian blocking the vents? I mm, don't know about watching where he was holding, to be honest. <clears throat> I'll show you in a moment where I was holding. Let me just Spanish this bit. And it doesn't really matter if it's a bit rough, because it's supposed to be a textured piece anyway. Andy Weberg Learner says, Brian, are you going to be filling any of the holes with resin? Nope. There's a story there, sir. Are you going to be using resin in the future? Ah, uh, don't talk, boys. I have a project in mind that needs resin. Yes, oh, it needs resin. resin. So this is a little tool, and the, the the vents are here and here. So I'm kind of holding it there, but I've cut my hand a little bit so this vent's open, and it can suck the air in through here. And there's vents in the back as well. So when you're holding it, you kind of can hold the neck. And the vents are both open there, look. So. But just be careful because it does get hot. It does. It will get hot if you can block the vent. They sometimes think these things are all badly uh, designed like that. Uh, oh, what do I need now? I need my lathe, my lathe bed protector. So let's put that on and put this on. Oops. And I'll move this camera out of the way. There we go. Just move that camera right out of the way. Up there. I've and I've got this sanding seal that a little a bit. I think you've done a very good job of keeping it random, Brian. It's hard to do. That's what Ben it's, says. It's almost impossible to keep things random. So I'm just going to sanding seal that now because the next thing that's going on is chestnut. Ebonizing like lacquer, which is just a paint. That looks like colour. That's weird. No, it's just... Uh, no, no. It's just, you know, yeah, it just looks like colour. You know, it's, yeah, it's just... It's, such a nice, it's, a, it's actually such a nice piece of wood. Don't know why I'm texturing this and colouring it, but sure. Does that look better? You can. <laughs> <laughs> this is your piece of wood, and you can. <laughs> just because I can. This piece of wood was... Uh, Came from Richard. And I'm just going to sanding seal that inside room as well. In case any of the... I just had an imaginary text message from Glenn. He said, to hide the tool marks. Hide <laughs> the tool marks, yep. <laughs> does indeed. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with hiding the tool marks, guys. Right, so we'll just have to let that dry off a little bit. So so you don't want to put no. another can of that on there. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, Susie's sister. Is, <laughs> Su Susie says, "No, Morris can't see what you're doing." Oh, sorry, Morris. I'll bring Morris around here. There you go. There we go. Oh, you can you can't see him there either. That's supposed to come out there, and that's supposed to come out there. There we go. So we can turn the lathe on nice and slow, and just let that rotate. We get a bit of air around it, 
Va bene. There we go. And whilst it's doing that, I'll just rub it with a brass brush as well. Now, help to get rid of some of the fuzzies and add a little bit of texture as well. Shouldn't take long to dry that. Another coat, another coat. Is, 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 is that Pete um, giving me a bit of advanced water in there? <laughs> Good man, Pete. I haven't got any. Bad. Oh. Things, things are bad. I haven't got any. So whilst I'm waiting for that, I'll just uh, fold up a piece of paper here just to keep myself entertained. Anybody got any questions? I wonder what the sand. effect would be if you just left the sand and sealer it wet and then carried on painting it. Um, well, is the sanding sealer not supposed to uh, seal the wood so the paint doesn't soak in and dis disappear? Just thinking, just yeah. thinking it might soak in places and on others. Different effect. Wesley Hanna's difference. just joined us. Hello, Wesley. Hi, Wesley. Hi, Wesley. So we'll just give that a wee wipe there and see, see how it's doing. See, does it tear the paper out of my hand? And it hasn't, that's good. That should be good. Switch the lathe off. And we'll give this a little bit of a shake. A little bit of ebonizing lacquer. Lay it on for this or not? Brian, you got some tissue in them grains, mate. Towards you there, where you are. No, that's all it is. Just two little tiny bits. Steve, you got an eye like a train rat. He hasn't. He hasn't, did. <laughs> so we'll just blow that out then. That'll do. Thank you, Steve. We'll go back to here again. And the important bit here is to get the, the... angle of the dangle right. So what do you get? Everywhere. It? To get it down into the the cuts that we've made, because that's where we want it to be black, really. But the issue is, it gets too thick. So just go, just go quick and around once. Hi, Doug. Good evening, Doug. And we'll give this a chance to flash off a little bit, and then we'll do a second coat of this, I think. I think it's going to need it. Just come at it from the back here. Too far. Be easier, be easier just to dip that, really, isn't it? I kind of would, I. Yes, it's quite a pain, does it, that? Well, he's using quite a bit, no? if, you follow, if, a bit. If, if you follow the pattern, like the angle of the cuts, that it should that it should work. Yeah, well, I was doing that, Stephen. It doesn't really... Because it because it's got a straight edge, you kind of have to get, go against the, the grain, if you like. Yeah, you have to go both ways, aren't you? But... Just get it down into the bottom, which That's means you leave quite a lot on the then. top. Good evening, but we'll just play with it until we get it, and I'll take, put the uh, hot air gun on it and try not to bubble Even. it. Even a gav. Oh, gav. I normally wouldn't do this kind of thing on a live at all, because it's better if you can just leave it and let it dry. But because Susie wanted it. Because yeah. Susie wanted it, it's you Susie's shark. fault. It's a bit by the base there, look, where you've missed. Just by the, just there, that's, you it. that's it. You got it. Anywhere else? Don't know. Can hardly see what I... I'll let that let bit dry before it starts running. Well, there's not that much on it. But I tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to spin it. <laughs> <laughs> There might be that much on it, but I'm not spinning it. That's for sure. Oh, go for it. Nope. It's fast. You and Ed Oliver switch it on at 3,200 revs. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got my hot air gun out, but I'm standing about two feet away. Over here. 
Scott's got to go well. losers. See you later, Scott. See you later, mate. Bye, Scott. See you later, Scott. Scott's on 8 o'clock, by the way, if anybody hadn't noticed. Just got it my fingers. Oh. I'll get on your new smock. Don't wipe your fingers on your new smock. Well, not, not today, not the first time it's been worn, anyway. There we go. We'll put Maurice in there so as you can see him. There he is. <laughs> Just bright and black. I've got a black Maurice in the house. Uh, we not, wouldn't, not, yeah, we would never have guessed that, Brian. I'm, I'm not about color Morris in the house. Yep, I'm not about racist. Blue ones, green ones, red ones. Every time somebody buys something off me, they get a mouse as well. Oh, well, you got that many? You got to give them away. <laughs> no, I just made them no. to give away, Steve. Oh, you right. just don't sell that much. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't need many mice. <laughs> what Brian does sell is bespoke pieces of art. Yep. I can tell you that. Man. Sold another four uh, four snowmen today. Well, that's just at twenty twenty five pounds <laughs> each. So if you're selling them too cheap, you're selling them too cheap. That's what I would say. Yep. Guaranteed, mate. Too cheap. The mentality of people who buy stuff is that uh, if it is cheap, if it's cheap, they don't value it at all. So Richard Feeling says Martine loves your blue mouse. Thank you. I take it that's on his way to Richard then. No. <laughs> no, already done. Ever thought you might be sitting watching paint dry? Yeah, who thought on a Thursday evening, 20 minutes to night, or 20 minutes to eight, you'd be watching paint dry, yeah? Mm. Yeah. For half an hour. <laughs> I thought I'd spin it just for about an entertainment, like. And we still do sit and watch it. Thing. Yeah, we do, eh? For the 71 people that are watching, this is Susie's fault. Mm. Yep. You just did that everybody. Yeah, else. Susie. Kev says, Brian, we learned that from Darren Breeze last week. Learned what from Darren Breeze? I don't know. Painting? Texturing? Texturing, I think. Oh, did he? Yeah, we, he we did had a club demo. We, we had a club uh, demo and he did it. Oh, Darren, did he? So very good. I did no, tell you when he was at Arrogate, it was just proves you didn't listen to me. <laughs> did he? Oh, Rex okay. B's in. Hello, Rex B. Hi, Rex. Evening, Am I Rex. supposed to listen to you, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, touch this bit. <laughs> Yep, happy Thanksgiving Day to all our American friends. Yeah, happy that. Thanksgiving. Is it Thanksgiving <laughs> today? Oh, well, uh, sawdust all over it. That was clever. Have a good one then, people. I'll just add to the texture. It's not quite dry yet, guys, so I can't really start painting it. Just have to wait. Yeah, I mean. Just leave it spinning for a little bit at the prime. Yeah. Okay, Steve. I put the extractor on. That'll suck some air past it. I'll suck the warm air past it. I'll have a drink of tea. That's what I'll do. That's it. Oh, no. You must sit down, Brian. I must have second water my tea. <laughs> it's not much good, is it? Rex likes your cardboard jig. To stop it's good. The paint. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Yep. It's even got a hood look. <clears throat> so what colours are we going to use? I was thinking maybe some Joe Sonia gold there or a decent. Violet iridescent. Well, you can't do anything unless you ask, unless you ask Susie, Brian. I know, but I'm just, uh, just giving Susie the choices. There's some turquoise iridescent. Uh, Susie's and got some, gold. Uh, she said gold already, but we've got some of these as well. Some of those uh, space dusts. A yeah, killing yeah. airbrush. Well, you don't have to use an airbrush. You can just paint them on. Yes, gold, says Susie. Yes, gold. Kisses and hearts all over the... Kisses and hearts? Yeah. Oh, face face with hearts all over. Yes, gold. Kiss, kiss, kiss. 
keep the smoke nice and clean. Get in there, boys. Get in there. So if I get them ready on a little tub, uh, let's go to a different camera. That tailstock camera is very close, isn't it? It needs to be. And how you how are you applying the uh, the colours, Brian? <coughs> foam brush. We're going to use a foam brush. Different. Right, we might be using four foam brushes. We'll see how it goes. One per colour, and then throw them away. You can buy them in the range for next to nothing. Are they disposable? <laughs> Basically, yeah, you just use them. I mean, it depends what you use with them. If you're using these Joe Sonyos, you can't clean it back off. Well, you could. You can wash them, I suppose. But... I mean, if you put them in thinners to wash them, if it's what's named base, then you won't be able it's to all a bit tacky, that, yeah, melt guys. the sponge. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to... We, we could use a bit of uh, texture or... Uh, embellishing wax as well, maybe. See? You could actually take that chuck off and put it to one side with a bowl on it and then turn another bowl in the meantime. <laughs> could, Terry. Any more good suggestions? I wouldn't be using the embellishing wax on that. It's too no, heavily textured, I, I think. I don't think yeah. I will either, Steve. You never get it out. You never get it right. Well, you'd use old tin for a start. Well, the idea yep. is the idea of texture is you're highlighting the high parts. So mm -hmm. with the embellishing wax, you're just going to get down into the low bits you don't really want them. You know. Just like to say that if you'd use an SK114 it would dry by now. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who put that in the chat? <laughs> yeah, it was just me. <coughs> oh, it was just you, was it? Let me let me see. Who was that? Oh, Pete. Uh, I see. <laughs> William Kenny says, up the revs and start squirting it. Up <laughs> the revs and start squirting it. That'd be everywhere. Look at that. Especially if, it's, especially if it's thick. Do you know what I always fancy doing? I always fancy getting like a 20 inch or 26 inch bowl right. and then fire one of those paint guns at it from a distance. <laughs> Random patterns. <laughs> That'd be quite cool, actually. Across Can we do it in your workshop, workshop Terry? Bang, Can we bang, do it in your yeah. workshop? <laughs> yeah. I'll, bring the gun. I'll bring the gun in the blank. <laughs> no, we, had, we, had, we had a demo in the 360 Club of that. I always fancy doing that, firing it from a distance, you know, like 20 foot away. Well, um, I've forgotten the guy's name now. Some grease well, on it. If you put a box around the yeah, headstock, it'd be good fun. Um, oh, you can, eh? It can be done. Yep. I might try that. You've got, a, you've got a paint gun, Steve. My next door neighbour's got one. That's right. We'll have a go at that one day. <laughs> you're brilliant. I'll let you fire because we'll, you've got a shot we'll at What were your wonky eye? <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you have it. I'll let you pull the trigger. Uh, the demo I see, the guy, the guy had spray cans, just like rattle cans. Yeah. And he had a great big bow. And he had not nothing surrounding his lathe. And he started spraying it on the centre and just pulled the spray can out. And he just went, uh, I mean, his whole workshop was covered in paint. Wow. Jeez. Dedication, that is. Yep. <laughs> and he used about five tins of uh, different oh. colour spray paints. Went bonkers. I'd cry. Right. Uh, I'd she cry. wants gold, does she? Are we you convinced Rob. about gold, yeah? <laughs> Robert Kingsports just said, Terry making a cannon and now a paint gun. A pattern is starting to form. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Ozzie says, with your track record oh. with embellishing wax, Brian, leave it in the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Well, I love your confidence, Dave. Thanks very much. I've just, I think I'm going to have to have a new stand of... Um, a new tub of <coughs> gold paint. Not that so, it shows that. Uh, not that it shows taking the mic, but she says, Ryan, with the hair dryer on, code setting be better. <laughs> oh, that looks all right. Yeah. My business. Look at that, man. Susie's dancing around her workshop now. I've never used them foam brushes. I'm going to have to get no, some. They're, they're good for doing texture because they're kind of flat. Mm. They can't go into the and grooves. They, they, they don't go down into the grooves.
You're getting kind of a dry brush effect without being a dry brush. Yeah. I can, I'm trying to make it kind of dry, so I'm kind of just wiping it on the side there, so there's not a huge amount of paint on it. A little bit more, I think. Mark Whittington has just joined us. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Mark. I haven't worked out yet just how how good these Joe Sonia paints are and how much coverage to do, because I always seem to be left with a bit in the bottom. That's because you put too much in. I know. We'll put less in and then just add more as you need it. Yeah, I know, but where's, where's the fun in that, Terry? I know, that's true. <laughs> That is true. Fire on in there and see what happens. <clears throat> Gary Glass likes that. Ooh, she's gonna have to try that when I get home again. It does look nice. So there's little bits in there that you can just, if you want to turn your brush, just edge on. You can get in and give them a little bit. But that should be enough gold, I think. What do you think, guys? Is that been enough? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Everybody Except happy you're going to have three other colours. Looks it. Well, I don't know if I'm going to have three other colours. I might just have another one. I don't know. <coughs> Could so, you just do one colour just around the edge of the rim? Uh, up around here? Yeah. Sort of three quarters of the out. Turquoise, iridescent, turquoise, or violet? Violet. But you got black, so violet. Violet. Would... Violet? Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's try a bit Turquoise of This might be too stark. I was just a little drop because you're only going... Just just a little drop, Terry? Yeah, that's enough because you're only going around the rim as... You sure now, Terry? Steve said, yeah. Do we just want the sort of depth of the brush? Yeah. Yeah. That sort of depth? Yeah, about three But I'll, but I'll about do it like this. About three do it that way, I say, show. yeah. Overhead camera would be good. Overhead camera would be good. And then you could turn it the other way so we can see it as you're doing it, not when it's finished. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. There you go, look at that, let's see. Excrement. Yeah, it looks good. So it can be a bit random, it doesn't really matter. And we'll just kind of do that. Brush on up a wee bit. Give a bit more on this side. It is a good job on your Kev. There you go. And do we do a little bit of, of uh, iridescent turquoise down at the bottom here? No, I'd leave it that way, yeah. personally. But... You think? Yeah. yeah. No, that's up to you. It's your bit of wood. You might want to what do the actual base. What does Susie think? The foot? Well, turn turn yeah. the other camera on then. Let's have a look at the base now. So. So we can have a good sort of... Not uh, so you can see it from the side, but you can just get a glimpse of it. Trouble is, he's not sprayed the whole bottom back. No, he's going no. to turn that off. Anyway, or that off. I'm going to return that. I'll just go and take a skip uh, off that. Personally, I would do the foot wall natural. The yeah. Foot, yeah. No, yeah, the, so wall. The, the, the wall. The wall. So when you look down, so when you look down, you've got the gold going into a piece of natural wood. Yeah. Down into here, huh? Oh, wait, no, when, the, no, when, the, you, when you resize the foot, then by about a millimeter, just the just oh, the edge of the diameter of the uh, foot, just right in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You resize the foot. Cut you that think? off. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure about that case. Yeah, well, okay. Let me just take. Let me just uh, take a little skim off that foot and see what happens. Only if you're not going to color anymore. But you'll color it else again. I wasn't going to colour the foot. I was going to leave the foot the way it is. No, but if you take it off now and you decide to put another colour on the bottom, you'll get it on the foot when you have to rescale oh, it. Oh, right. I can take it off again. Now, if you now cut in, that's what Steve's saying, you now cut in when you get there, take a skim off the edge. Is that millimetre or so of foot you've got there? That's uh, four. The I've, got, I've got the three mil left. Oh, there. Hello, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. So do you think I should take a little cut just in here, Steve? Just a little, just so you got that sharp line between the black and the natural wood. 
No, I'm not sure that's right. Well, don't mm. do it then if you don't want to do it. Don't do it, that's right. Yeah, you do what you want to do, Brian. Yeah, you do it, Brian. Do it anyway. Do what you want to do, Brian, but Steve's right. Yeah. I have to learn, 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 listen to Steve because he's done a whole lot more of these than I have. None of them were any good. None of them were any good, but. <laughs> Just need to tidy that up a little bit, and I need to make sure that goes in the way. And you're going to need to make sure that that mortise is deep enough. To turn yeah, it the mortise is fine. Mortises, there's loads, You're loads going to clean of the, the base of the mortise out. Clean. Yeah. Um, black. I'll leave, I'll leave it now and I'll I'll do it I'll do it later. Okay. Because I'll be Whisting I'll be I'll have to take that up to take the mortise out and make bring this on in because the foot will just be on the edge here. Yeah. And then I'll shape that into the to the center so there's no visible chucking point. Good that we Can want we have an speak? overhead to see what yeah. effect we've got there now. There, look at that. Superb. Yeah, you're right, Steve. Let yeah, you're right, Steve. Let me just try this camera. Roger Jesus. Kent Maybe says good better. evening, everyone. Or good hi, evening, everyone. Roger. And Lewis has joined us. Good evening, Roger. Roger. That looks good. Is that a better view? Yeah. Yeah. Is everybody happy with that now? Everybody. Oh, I don't know happy? if we asked Susie yet. Susie is, is very is, lovely. Is Susie Susie's happy? very lovely. So Susie's happy. Right. So I'm not going to do anything else with that. I'm just going to leave that the way it is. It doesn't need anything else on it. I don't think. I found it would get it would have to be lacquer, I think, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah I reckon. I wouldn't I wouldn't high gloss it. That that wouldn't look right high glossed. I don't think so. It would take it, it would take away from it, the you want vibrance of the colour. Everywhere you, you look, if, you want to see the colour, wouldn't you? If you've got a matte lacquer, you can put a matte lacquer over just to seal the seal the colours, but I do have a matte lacquer actually, but I'm not gonna do it tonight. That would be uh, good though. No, I don't. Oh clear satin lacquer I'll have, yeah. Alan Gibbs is in. Hi, Alan. Hello, Alan. Hi, Alan. How are you doing? Hi, oh, yeah. hey, Alan. Right, let's uh, let's get on and turn this over, eh? And do the inside. Grandma Reese says her Morris is yet to meet her granddaughter, Robin. All oh, right. Oh, I know there might have to be yeah. another Morris sent over. To I think another. You have to have a family of Morrises. Because oh, well, there's yeah. four granddaughters up this way and one down in the other end. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well, that can be a Stuart Ingrilli. So let me just take that off. And I'll just turn that up. So you... That looks so... nice. Can't really get see the edge then with a fluorescent purple or whatever. Look at that. You can see it transforming slowly. It's good. In actual fact, it looks a bit of green in there as well. The black and the wood, you know, turning it slightly green fluorescent. <laughs> like knock off cabbage patch kids. Cabbage patch kids. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Is Lewis referring to us or something else? <laughs> knock off cabbage patch kids. Turn the speed oh, down, turn that somewhere. on. That does look very healthy. Not very loud. Something not right there. Steve Gardens in. Good oh, evening, Steve. Stephen. Stephen. Ben Jamin says, leave enough room to sign the bottom, Brian. Inverted commas, made by Brian with an NSK114 because I'm tight 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I'm tight, it's because I'm sensible. And I don't waste Lewis my was, money. Lewis was referring to the false Maurice's. All right. All false Maurice's. Hey, hey, hey Maurice's. You, you, yeah. you can stop that. You can just stop that. The false oh, Morrises. False Maurice. A false Maurice? Michael McEwen has said. joined us. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. <laughs> Hi, Michael. How are you doing, buddy? Let me just take off this faceplate, right? The false Maurices. False Maurice. So can I just say, yes. there is 76 people watching and there's 32 thumbs up. Come on, guys. Oh, you can do better than that, sure. They're so engrossed in what Brian's doing. They like got Go and click. Of course they like it. Susie asked for it. Everybody loves Honestly, Susie, so everybody everybody's got to like yeah. it. Nobody loves Brian, but everybody loves Susie. <laughs> this is fine. I know I'm not upset at all. So I'm going to bring a little bit of Tailstock support up there just to begin with. Oh. 
Now you see the reason for the inside step. Or you will in a map. Right, let me just put that in there. Push that a little bit further. That'll just give that a little bit of support. Just save it falling off. Right, put that in there. Check with my three, it's bull gouge or height. Lewis says he puts a thumbs up to the video, but he will protest it about the mouse. <laughs> ah, stop, Mona. Right. Yeah, Kevin has joined us. Hi, Paul. Hello, Paul. Oh. Hi, Paul. Just, Paul's been just cleaning his workshop up, I reckon. Quite late. Yeah, that'll be a first to be as. Who's that? Paul knows for the evening yes. people of the YouTube run. Dad touched you here until the elder, elder one decides to have a home to go to. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I need to try and remember that there's a jaggy edge here. Yeah, oh, finger wise. Don't want to be sticking my finger in there. So let me try and get this camera positioned a bit there from there. Try that camera. <laughs> nah, it's no good. Up there and upside down, that's better. Just try and make you sick, guys. You alright? Bang my head down on the ceiling. Is everybody sick there? <laughs> Pete bumped his head on the ceiling then. <laughs> well, not being too fussy about it. these cuts, quite. Not aggressive, but. We're not hanging about. Good work, Learn Randy says his workshop shed is being built this coming Saturday. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Well oh, that'd There'll be, be cool. Live shows, live shows yeah. coming up. Kingsport, Rob's put. So, how long before we have the virtual first virtual reality wood turn in live show? That'd be cool. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I'm not sure what you need to record that with, but hmm. you can all grab a chisel and take part. Hmm. Hang in there, honey. Take, get rid of the tail stock just for a second. Brian. Yes. Message from my sponsor. Three. What you could do, Brian, is you could do the same to the inside with the with the procs on. I could, but I'm not going to. No, I think that'll be overkill. No. Oh. And make it sort of go through so that it's like just fingers. I want to just make sure that I've got a decent cut there because I don't want to go back to that room again. Ooh, I going to say, just remember that's some of them are deeper than others. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted, though. I want that to be jaggy around there. Maybe just take another little fraction off of that so you're going to get a few more of them to come through. But I don't want to break any off either. Do one more cut there. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. One last cut. And that is a bit thin. <clears throat> Basically, so as soon as you can't get Doom Battle with Damison's advice. Yep, never be fine. So do it every half an hour, you go set the gas up, keep flying and check. Roy saying, I see you again, Brian. I would say not much more, uh, Roy, but a little bit. Have a look at that. I'm making such a mess. Oh, I broke a whole bit of it. Damn. Put 
Brooklyn Bag Bottom. Mm. Oh, we'll cut that lot out, make it the same rim that height then. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I think. Yeah. It's actually quite a nice, it's quite a nice rim, actually, when it's broken yeah. like that. It's quite fragile, isn't it, along there? Yeah, it is a bit. Cut that off and then ta- just touch up the rim with... If you touch up with a chisel, that's just going to shatter, isn't it? Yeah, I'll find out now. Oh. Parting tool from the inside out. Yeah, I'll go inside that way. Let's find out. The mask on. There are bits flying off there, but I'm quite happy about that. Mm. Let's have a look at that. No, I think I need to go a bit further down. The plan was to get a raggedy edge on it anyway. That was the plan. But that's kind of... That's yeah, it's just breaking working. away. Yeah, it's um, very raggedy. Inside out, Brian, onward, and come yep. outwards yep. In, from the in yep. to the out. No, not that from, way. From here end? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, from there in. Go Might inside be better it. Coming that way. Yeah. We'll try and see. That way that way you, you minimize the chance of them hitting. You know what I mean? Um Well you could cut them off with a saw. And raggedy uh, cut them. Su- could I use a skew on that there, do you think? Just you could. suggested outside I would go with a part control. Out the I, I thought well, I thought I thought I'd say an I really did. But I don't really want it to be straight. That's the problem. I don't really want it to be straight. You'll we'll just straight. get those off and then you can... Well, you won't, will you? you Is it just so not to anyway. chip out the colour on the outside? That's all. He's, he's suggesting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use the tool you used to carve it with. It's Rob of King's yeah. I would go with off. the pinpointing tool. Mark his point on the tool rest where you want the cut to be. Start it from the outside in, knowing where you're cutting in, and don't don't move from that line. Put your mask on. Standing out the line of fire, Terry. Perfect. So, uh, Ooh, that's nice now. I like that. I like that. That'll do. Right. Don't touch that edge again. No, I'm not going to. I want to try and get that down there to get that. Yeah, it's not right on the edge. Oh. Yeah. No, I need to come down for a bit here from that, just to bring it yeah. a bit more depth as well. You can always colour the edge with a bone brush and black paint in there or whatever. It is quite thin. We can hear it. Let's get rid of some of that rubbish in the middle now. There you go, he's in and he's out. Sorry if I must do this for you. You might need to redo the purple on the outside because you might cut it all off. Mm. W. I will do redo it outside. Just had a quick look over there just to make sure I wasn't going to funnel that. Oh, no, don't do that. Well, it wouldn't matter. You ragged the outside, ragged the inside, I think. Let any well, juice suddenly drain out my from... Chinese land on me. Let any juice drain out from any ragged apples or something you're going to put in it. Yeah. on it. Google it on uh, YouTube, Kit Rob. There's loads of people done bowling bowl. <clears throat> yeah. 
loads of people done what, Steve? Bowling bowl. All right. So long as you're not doing a chip and dip bowl. Yeah. I, I want to see those. I want to see someone do a large bowl in the middle and a small bowl on the outside. That yeah. would really impress me. <laughs> I did a I did a chip and dip bowl just to upset Ryan because he didn't like him either. Well, you want a chip and dip bowl? No, it's Mark. Be easy. I hate those. Oh, it's Mark, was it? I know it's Mark. Well, one of you didn't like it, so I thought I'd do it. Yeah, Mark doesn't like them. Yeah, I did it. Just, just didn't like it. I'll do it to you. Actually, it's quite good. <clears throat> Andy Bubba Leonard pointed out that that would not have happened on an SK114. <laughs> I reckon it would have. I think it would have exhausted that one because I don't think Brian's going to get one. Simple. 50 quid off at the moment. How many? 50 quid. 50 pound off. Right, that's not bad. Um, metric or English bowl, Steve? Oh, whatever takes your fancy, Rob. I'm not bothered either. I use both anyway, so that makes no difference to me. <laughs> 25% of a lot of money, still a lot of money. Mm. Yeah. So this is my 60 degree bevel English gouge. Point. Now, I like to use the one across the bottom. Don't mention the resin word, Dave. Don't mention the word, resin word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian's going down the rabbit hole. We know he is. Yeah, he's going down. He's at it. As Terry talked him into it. No, it wasn't. Was not. Was you, no, Steve? He's, he's, been, he's been circling the edge of that drain for a long time. He'd be time. sort of dipping his finger in it, I mean, now and then, and, or his toe. I and just then... I fell in bike style yesterday. Yeah, I Stage bet you ordered some, didn't you? I bet you ordered I some. I did. Yeah, see? <laughs> a little bit of a tool mark in there. We'll just try and get rid of that. Paul Cavers asking if anybody's seen any decent offers this Black Friday. Um... Said the, um... No, I'm one one four is fifty quid off. Um, Jan was put out an email today, sort of teasing, but they haven't said what the prices will be. It's just said, hold that thought, hold that thought. Is it? Passengers here for the package. Your <laughs> daughter's obviously uh, turned up. They were saying on the radio yesterday, whether it's true or not, that um, 70% of the shops are actually not doing Black Friday sales because the prices are higher or the same as what they have been over the last year anyway. Yeah. They only increased the, the prices two months before Black Friday and then just reduced them back to the original price. I just want to look at this room again because I'm not 100% sure I like it. I might have to do something, take that down another quarter of an inch. Do you want it flat, smooth, or what? Well, it's well, raggedy. it's smooth and raggedy in places. But do I want it smooth, or do I want to leave it raggedy? I would be inclined to drum all those in semi-round, semi-point, more deliberately raggedy, if you know what I mean. You could clean them up with the procs on, make it yeah. a bit more jaggedy. Spray them again. Could, but I wanted to leave it inside natural. But <sighs> we spray it from the back, would not it? Well, that's true. So, yeah, that's true. Take that off for now. How much would I have to lose? Another eighth of an inch. Still be all right, quarter I think. Inch. Need a quarter inch easy. Well, that's the deepest one there, I think. Yeah, well, you need to get rid of all of them for keeping it flat. Yeah, right, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do that. Welcome to Brian's coin dish. Yeah. Still a ball. Be all right. 
Callum Turn says that Axminster's also given another ten extra ten percent with the blue light card. That's an NHS one, isn't it? Bruce got one of those. Grandma Ruth's got a blue light card. So that'll be thirty five percent off. How do you qualify for a blue light card? You have to be a member of the Work emergency the services. <laughs> oh, it's not okay, just yeah. it's not just uh not just the NHS, Terry. No. Emergency services as well, you know. Fire, please. 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 Oh, yeah, please. Basically, it's all blue light responders. That's what it is. And Very if you nice. work in a, and if you work for needed children, nursing homes, things like that. Yeah. Right. There's one, there's there's said, one raggedy bit there, but it's dead. I'm not taking it. What was that? Lewis said you should use a bowl, bowl gouge. Why, Lewis? That's cut. Job is so brittle because you've got different thicknesses there. That's the job. It is, it. Yeah. I'm just going to fix it now. Vibration's going to be all over the place. And you can and just... turned it thin as well, so it doesn't help, does it? Yeah, that's, maybe turned it too thin. That was maybe the biggest problem. And Jamie reckons it's looking like one of those cocktail umbrella things. Yeah, yeah it does a bit. Yeah, it does it a might bit be that size again. in a minute, Ben. It could be that. Size. Keep going. I might be able just to stick a cocktail stick in it. <laughs> Brian Green's having to go. Goodbye, Brian. See you later, Brian. Thanks for coming Bye, over. Bye, Brian. If not, we'll recover it. That'll be grand. It'll save on shipping costs as well. Fuck, oh, it's lighter. Yeah, it's lighter. That's why I'm making it thin, so it's not, it's not so expensive to ship. <laughs> so I can send all the pieces as well. You can make it send as a kit. Yeah. <laughs> send as a kit, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Oh, like Thanks, that. mate. <laughs> I hope Who Susie is? still likes it now. That's all right, because Susie's getting it. Rob Copperow wants to know if you're rolling the edge. I just did roll the edge. I know. I just answered what he said. Roy with boy says it's an IKEA kit. Or is it an <laughs> idea kit, Roy? It could be an idea kit. Well, it works okay for the inside of the boat. doesn't like the outside very much. No. I've just tapped that. sees it like a drum, but it's not quite. It's not so bad. Susie says, this is really beautiful. Some lemon oil on the inside and bottom of this should would look stunning. So you've got your orders for the inside, Brian. Lemon oil. She wants lemon oil, does she? Yeah. There we go. That's nice now. Yep, we can get away with that. That'll be good. <laughs> he won't do that, Andy. No, he won't throw it up over his shoulder, Andy. Why is that strike? I'm not sucking that. Pull up again, I expect, and you forgot to empty it. Have you cleaned your filters recently? Uh, not since. No, no. <laughs> no. Well, there you go. That's the answer. That's it, then. it does help. <laughs> Probably full up as well. Benjamin says Susie asks if she can have the drill instead. Do you know? Oh, thanks. Ben. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm. Where's your line, Ben? 
Right, Lewis has got you on big screen now, so make sure you're perfect on everything you do. Ooh, he's in. He's can we no change the camera so we can see the inside? Wait, wait a minute, so just, I'll just change get the camera there, so, so we can change the camera so we see the inside, eh? No, I'll just get Maurice screen. there so that Lewis can see let's, it. Let's see the inside. That day. That's better. You know, you've been diving for a while. I take it Rob means when I threw that <laughs> thing over my shoulder. That's one of his favourite moments. Gary Grass is um, putting a reminder. You need to put some purple on that top edge. Because yep. it's changing shape. I would say about half of what you had before. Yeah, yeah just tips. I will do that now in a minute. Once I've finished the inside, I'll do that. Fear not. Yeah. Last but not least, 240. Lewis said... <laughs> <laughs> be a shame if that mouse fell into the spinning bowl. Good, wouldn't it? That's why you got it on a magnet, Lewis. Be a shame if what? That the mouse fell into a spinning it. bowl. I think he's willing Maurice to become Morat. Mole flat. Mole flat. And Lewis says, put him back out there, really close. <laughs> just roll that edge over there, just for Rob. It's not going to disappear down the extractor, uh, Rob. Who was the block? Not, the extractor's not sucking very well, and the mouse is further than the bow. <laughs> the extractor is working, like. Slowly. No, not really, is it? But I don't know what's going on. Can you filter us? But not now. Yeah, I thought it was me clean to rent. Absolutely, 100%. Michelle says, I know what Brian's doing tomorrow. Cleaning the filters. <laughs> yeah. She's good like that. Tell me what does she want to come in and do it? I thought she came out and did it for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Indeed, Terry. You're funny. Yeah, she used to, Terry. She used to bring in a cup of tea and chocolate biscuit as well, but those days are gone. No, 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 Brian. Lemon oil. Oh, sugar. Forgot about that. Sand it again. Sand it again, right? And that best. Clamp it. Forgot the lemon oil. I was going to use your regret then. Oh. Well, oh. Uh, lemon oil. Oil. Yeah, go, Joe. Go, Joe. The only chance you're going to get. Can I sing, right? that used to Yeah, you go. Pretty. You you work away, used Joe. You sing if you want to sing. I feel pity can be soft as your face. Oh, With light brown. Your sugar Better clean up a bit of methylate spirits then, eh? Susie That's... says if you want to grit it, then grit it. No, Susie, you wanted lemon oil, so you're getting lemon oil. Yeah, don't Sand keep up changing sword. your mind, Sand Susie. Up 400. Don't keep changing yeah. your mind. Don't keep changing your mind, for God's sake. It's cost him. He's had, a, he's had to cut the bowl in half for you now because you keep changing your mind. First you want a jagged edge, then you want a straight edge. <laughs> What's going on? It'll be a saucer in the end. <laughs> Oh, it's still a good size bowl. Oh, stop. <laughs> Make a nice fruit bowl, Susie, on your kitchen table there. Never oh. you worry about them. <clears throat> Lewis has said the real Maurice may put a prince move and be the mouse formerly known as Maurice. This this formerly this known is as this as this is the real Maurice. Don't start like hey. <laughs> boy Maurice. Lemon oil. Oh, I haven't got any. Yes, I have. What about orange? Lemon oil. Lemon oil. See, so can I get the childproof lock off it? Yeah, that's the other thing, isn't it? I put up my little lace bed protector again. What did you do with that? Who stole my lace bed protector? Terry did. Not Goldie. Not Goldie. Terry invented Terry. it. Hmm. Must have said that somewhere, but I don't know where that is. Look at the side, down the side. Yeah, I'll use this one. This, this one will do. I'll just whack that on there. Could have used a bigger brush. Oh, blimey, you got a bigger brush would help. Okay. Three hours, right? Jeez, stop winking. Yeah, it's a bit better. big, isn't it? <laughs> a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, if you're bull brushes, they'd be big and small, make it medium, wouldn't it? Look at that. There you go. 
it's smelling lovely when it gets to you out of the box. Really. I'll give it two or three coats to easy so it's over the next couple of days. And if you send me your address, I'll get it posted to you. There Lewis you has just noticed your nice new smock. Oh, thanks, Lewis. Oh, he's only been watching for an hour. I've only been wearing it for an hour and a half. Yorkshire gets in. Hello, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Just Hi, Glenn. Up, was he? So just just give that a little yeah. clean up there. No, it's not, not like a drum yet. So the other thing I had to do then was to... Uh, the purple on the outside. You need for mobile you. cam, wouldn't you? Mobile cam for that. Or oh, you're rigging it up now. I can see. Right there somewhere that day. Yeah, yeah Grant. Yeah. Oh, uh, another way. That's it. Uh, yeah, somewhere. We yeah, want to go back you? to what was it? Turquoise, wasn't it? Violet. It was Violet. Yeah. It was Violet. I know it was violet because it's still on the brush. Have you blown that off? The airbrush? It will make everything dirty. Happy now? Happy now. Oh, it's moaning about something. Well, we'll get it right. For goodness sake, it's always it's moaning about something. It's a gift you have, I you know. That's what Ruth says. A gift you, speech, you could throw it over your shoulder at the mm. end, but it's not. I never do that, Terry. It's the Steve's job. Steve's job. That's what he does. And then nearly gets hit in the bike of the head with a bit. I reckon somebody's sitting down behind him. <laughs> Hobbit. Look at everyone's back. Andy Wood, Hello. look at the state of that floor. <laughs> Rest assured it'll be clean before I go into the house. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Got to say, my Michelle's floor is messier than that, and I haven't turned anything for a week. Michelle's good, like that, and she comes right out after you finish. Brian cleans it up, doesn't she? She does, I. Yep. She'll be here. Michael have just joined us. Just in a moment. Just, just whenever I finish here. There we go. It's like a holiday camp in here. Brian leaves and all the cleaners come in, clean everything up for the next lot. Just blend it in a little bit. Not too much. No, I'm not doing too much. Very I'm just trying. The, the uh, brush is down near dry, so just give it a... There we go. Perfect. That'll do. That's all it's getting. Thank you, Lewis. What did Lewis say? Congratulations. Oh, congratulations on the thousand subs. It's fabulous news, Pete. Another YouTube influencer joins the club. I want to know. I want to know how it went so quick, though. It just suddenly went all mad. As soon as I did that, a um, couple of reviews on... New chap. Just went manic. I'm going to give it an hard call of this because it needs it now. We can't see that, of course, Brian. No, we can't see that. I'll stop. I'm just giving another coat of uh, oil because it's really dry. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of soaking straight in there. Oops. There we go. Yeah, Brian. Right. Yes, mate. Not another one. Pete, you're not, I'm, I'm starting to think you're, I'm starting to think you're an alcoholic. My goodness. I'm, pra I'm practicing for the weekend. Oh, I saw you. I forgot. Forgot. Sorry. Right. Forty eight so, hour non stop drinking. <sighs> Not getting any better. What could be better? So the only thing's left to do is take off the, the foot and I'm not gonna do that this evening because we've done enough. Um, let me just tip this camera a little bit. Just down there from the right there. And I'll put this up. Up here you go. Put Maurice down here, look Maurice. Oh Maurice the mouse. And put a little bowl down there. Lovely. There we go. And there's the mouse. Very nice, Brian. Very nice, Brian. Nice job. There you go. Very well done. Ten out of ten for effort. We'll have a look 
that <coughs> inside there. I'll we'll just flip it over and there's the outside. So what's the finish size on that now? What's the... 4x2. What's the finish size? Finish, the finish size is uh, two and a half inches. <laughs> it's 10 inches, all bar, about two mil. 10 inches, all bar, two mil. It's nine, yes, and, three right. quarter, nine and three quarter inches is what it is. And it's, it is Inch exactly two inches tall. Ooh. There you go. So we didn't lose that much. And it'll make a super little fruit bowl, I think. For Susie's kitchen. There we are. She loves it. She's loving it. Thank you, Susie. So that, if you uh, PM me your address, Susie, I'll get that off and I'll post you um, early next it. week sometime. Once it's all nicely dried out and I get it in a couple of coats of would you call it? Right, let's bring you guys back in again. If I can get the mouse to work. Use Morris. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Use Morris. <laughs> yeah. Well, you haven't done so anything, has he, lately? Oh. <laughs> just hung yeah, around on your lathe. He's just been watching, as he does. So that's that, guys. That's us finished for tonight. It's now half past eight. That's not too bad. No, pretty good. Very good. Half eight and a half. So, yeah, Scott will still be going on the on his channel if you want to nip across there now, guys. Um, I'll see you next Thursday. I'll be back on at seven o'clock next Thursday, uh, and many time in between if I feel like it. I tried to be on time says, this week. We've got uh, tomorrow <laughs> night. We've ben, got... <laughs> ben Jamin says Brian, Jamin. very good, Brian, and your post box costume is lively too. You like it, good man? <laughs> well Glad you like it. <laughs> Jiggy Brute, Dan. What's happened there? Oh, there it is. Oh, and I've got that the right way around this time. Yeah. I don't believe this, but I, I just clicked onto the YouTube, or to, to the YouTube channel, or my channel, obviously, and the first advert is for the post office. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, jeez. Yes, and we'll we'll get it. Hey, Battle of the Makers tomorrow. Yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Have you got the link for it there, uh, Pete? Steve, Eden? Yeah, I have. Yes. I can Stick find it. it give me a second. Who's Charles? Next smog will have sequins. No, but it has gold in it, Lewis. Oh, he's already got that arranged, Lewis. He's oh, saving, saving, saving it for Christmas. Saving it for Christmas. Saving it for Christmas. Saving it for Christmas. So next week, I might be turning... A bowl. Um, what a bowl. <laughs> yeah, might be, because I've got one of these. I've got one of these. I have one of these. Which ah, is a wet, turned, a, a walnut turned bowl. bowl. Which is wet turned by my good friend William. And he said, I've got loads of these. Take that one home here. So we'll maybe turning that. We'll see. That'd be cool. Yep. And we'll see how that goes. And we'll maybe get William on as a, a near run. Absolutely. Next Thursday. I was thinking Ruth could be a special year worm next week. Well, we can, oh, oh, yeah, we could maybe do a ladies' night, could we? Maybe we'll go on to a ladies' night. Yeah, why not? We'll get Ruth on as a special year worm. So we can have Joe and we can have Ruth and... Uh, Put down the pub. We can have Nicky if Nicky wants to come <clears> in, <throat> Steve. Uh, and, uh, well, we'll Ruby will be back in Canada next week. We'll, we'll, grab, we'll grab Susie. Ruby will be back. And Susie Canada might come next week. So. There you go. Oh, One last look at that. Nice, nice colours on it. Very nice. Uh, uh, obviously, this is going to get cleaned up on the bomb. This bit's going to get cleaned up, so that'll be fine too. And he's Pete put Pete in a dress. In Pete in a dress. What was that? Pete, Pete in a dress. dress. <laughs> he's got the hair for it. <laughs> <laughs> what I can say is it's been known before. It's been known before. <laughs> yeah, it's been done before, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. All right, guys, let's uh, head over to Scott, if he's uh, that way inclined. And I'll catch you all tomorrow night on the Battle of the Makers. And um, who have we got over the weekend? Wayne and Jake and Jamie and the usual crew Steve. will be on over the weekend. Steve. Steve. Steve on Sunday at the Steve and Nicky show, or the Nicky and Steve show. So the Nicky show. <laughs> Special guest Steve <laughs> turning. <laughs> with, with, with a special guest, Turner, Steve, in the corner. Oh, not a special guest, just a guest. <laughs> yeah, just a guest. <laughs> just a Turner. Just, just a Turner. Just a guy <laughs> in the background making some grunting. 
Yeah, just, oh, oh no, as Nicky would say, just the wallet. In yeah, the just the wallet. That's about right. Yeah, yeah. Just the wallet. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, and I'll uh, be on Monday the... finishing the wheels. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I've seen a bit of a preview of that, boys. It's really worth watching. I have to tell you. Ooh. Ooh. Right, guys. Let's call it a day, and we'll uh, talk to you all there. Thanks for coming in, and uh, see you next week. Have a great week, guys. Cheers, everybody. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us. Have a good